There was some good news uh, in the past week in Texas uh, with it uh, becoming the latest state to pass legislation to save women's sports. And I am proudly here today to recognize and thank Governor Greg Abbott for standing up for women and girls and signing the Save Women's Sports Act. This is huge news, not only for Texans, but for girls across the country. This new law will pr protect the integrity of women's sports by prohibiting men from competing against female athletes. Now, that was Riley Gaines, who's testified before the US Congress and has been a, 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 a incessant campaigner. She's a, a US swimmer. Um, now, Kiralee, at last year's uh, election, the Liberals, through Senator Claire Chandler and, um, Senator, and uh, Catherine Deves, a candidate, they were calling for similar legislation to be passed and to be Liberal Party policy. But uh, Scott Morrison, the then Prime Minister, threw them both under the bus and said that the Liberals had no plans for the sort of bill that was just passed in Texas last week. Why can't we get this here? Misogyny. <laughs> That's, I don't know. Like, why is it that these politicians think that they have a right to remove hard fought and won women's spaces, services, and sports from women? You know, men are not women. No one could ever uh, prove that a male has become female. They can't change their DNA, they can't change their skeletal structure. They have so many advantages. That's why we have women's sports divisions in the first place. Yep. And the Australian Sports Commission has issued guidelines that so many of our sporting bodies have adopted, which are, is, creates an unfair, unsafe playing field for women. So, Australia, where's our Riley Gaines? I love that woman. I think she is absolutely outstanding. She's articulate, successful and beautiful, and that's what we need. We need Australian female athletes to stand <clears throat> up and draw that line in the sand and you know, put people like Scott Morrison, Anthony Albanese, uh, you know, Tanya Plebisek and others and say, why in 2023 do we even have to fight for women's sports and spaces? But here we are. It's exactly what we have to do. Yeah, Scott Morrison and, and Anthony Albanese and Tanya Plibersek, as you say, and so many others in our parliament will find themselves on the wrong side of history. I'm not sure that Scott Morrison is a misogynist as as much as probably a coward, I think. I think, it, it, you know, my analysis of what he did last year in throwing Claire Chandler and uh, Catherine Deeds, two brave women, they're as brave as Riley Gaines, but uh, Scott Morrison threw them under the bus because of political expediency and a lack of courage.